Oh my gosh, look at that. Roasted and toasted and brown and crispy. I would say Paul has definitely a lot of potential. Hey Chewie, guess what? It's time to cook today, guys. Uh, so, today, I'm going to show you guys an awesome way to make red potatoes that'll make it uh, something you're going to want to eat all the time. These are very yummy, and this is a new way of making them red potatoes. Like McDonald's, you'll be loving it, all right? So the very, very first thing you're going to want to do, kids, is put that tray, you know, the baking tray thing, whatever you call that. Put it on the very lowest, right next to that there heating element, as Kaylin calls it. So uh, then you're just going to want to simply set the oven to 450. So get that thing cracking and rolling. 450, kids. The next step requires some cutlery. You're going to go ahead and get all your potatoes out, you know what I mean? You're going to cut them directly in halves. Do yourselves a favor and go to Winco or some other store like that and find yourself the biggest baking tray you can possibly find, all right? You yeah, know, because if you're meal prepping, you're making an ass load of food and um, you need big stuff. Big. Big. Dead. And also, I grabbed some parchment paper. This is great because, you know, it's anti-stick, so stuff won't stick to the pan or the tray. And, um, you know... I believe it's like not as bad as other stuff as far as like chemicals but you know I could be talking out of my ass I don't know you hear these things on the internet and so forth so what I did I started chopping these red potatoes into halves but um, you know not all quite halves. some of them are quarters everything can't be perfect just like all the creatures on earth not everything can be perfect so just try to make them you know remotely the same size and uh, get them on that parchment paper. Love me some red potatoes ladies and gents. It's pretty good stuff. So the next step, if you're dieting don't use this. This is olive oil. Olive oil is very healthy but it has a lot of calories so if you're watching the calories um, you're gonna want to do something like you know coconut oil spray or some shite like that. So just you know Get them nice and wet and everything. Let's get that all up in there. Oh yeah, just so the, the stuff will stick to it. All the goodies you're about to put on it. Alright, cool. That's nice and wet. So what I got here is uh, Flavor God uh, Taco Tuesday. It's not like the best, but um, it's just something. You can go wild. You can do whatever you want. You know what I mean? Got some carne asada uh, stuff. This stuff is awesome. Southwest seasoning. Oh my gosh, get one there. Get on there, get in there, and yeah, sprinkle some of that on there. This is where you can really be creative and just make all kinds of different flavors and tastes. And you gotta have black pepper. Pepper is the best. Pepper is very diet friendly and it'll make you uh, salivate. So if you're eating some dry diet food, uh, pepper will make you salivate and want muller. Whatever it is, I want muller. Shimmer muller and baby girl. So I love this stuff right here. It's Trader Joe's Pink Himalayan Salt. Pink salt's pretty awesome. Um, there's like minerals and stuff in there. And uh, it'll just make it taste so bomb. So bomb, you're gonna wanna call your mom. All right, so once you've enabled all your seasonings and such, and everything's nice and uh, cut up, you're gonna wanna take it, and once your uh, oven reaches that 450 preheated, you put that sucker on in there. Oh my goodness gracious, don't burn yourself kids. I'll get in there. So basically, the key here is that the tray is at the very bottom level and 450 for 30 minutes, folks. I'm gonna go ahead and set a kitchen timer for 30 minutes because I tend to forget these things. Hey, so I wanted to show you guys a couple new investments I made. I picked up some brushes, specifically for putting, you know, Seasoning and sauce on meat or whatnot. You can just brushy, brushy, brushy. And uh, yeah, instead of using your hands or a paper towel, this is a lot better. <laughs> uh, here's a thermometer uh, for, for checking the meats so you know your meat is cooked. Something I've never used before. I'm going to finally start using it. 
jab it in and uh, what is chicken supposed to be 160 or something like that I don't know I'll google it a grease tray this is basically you know to keep heat in on a, on a pan on the stove and then you can flip it over and get all the grease out or what have you can't wait to try it last but not least a huge glass baking tray I love glass it's good it's healthy it just cooks everything cooks better and stuff like that so oh lovely look at I got some chemicals it, well, uh, free chemicals included. Look at that glue. Oh, yeah. Cook that right up. Put that on your meat. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Roasted and toasted and brown and crispy. All right, folks. These are hot as shite, obviously. So, um, this looks real good. I want to make a note for you guys. Um, it's better to probably cut them into quarters. I don't know. Make them relatively small because that way they cook kind of the same. But man, these are pretty good. My mouth is watering. Oh yeah. I'm gonna show you something. So here's a little thing I came up with basically. So typically, you know, you got yourself a, uh, a meal container. All right, great. But um, these start taking up a lot of room in the fridge, etc. So what I've been doing for something like this, um, I bought these mason jars, so basically, you know, you get a mason jar, and these are still really hot, I don't know if I'm going to mess with this, but, you know, my meal plan right now, um, it calls for uh, four ounces of red potatoes with two whole eggs. What I've been doing is, uh, you know, there's about four ounces right there, so I put them in these mason jars, obviously I'm going to break it up and kind of scramble it, but... Uh, Go ahead and screw that on there, you know. So what I've been doing is uh, I have this thing. I got this at like Target or somewhere like that. Um, and I just put them in there. Whoops. So that goes in my fridge like that. And I'll, I'll get a couple jars, you know. And it just takes up a lot less room in the fridge, you know, for something like that. Because that's, um, that's only like part of a meal, you know. And if I'm eating six meals a day, you know, it's taking up a lot of space. So there you have it. Uh, let me know what you guys think of these in the comments section. Like and subscribe and everything. But leave a comment on this video if you try this recipe out for roasted red potatoes. Yeah. Hey everybody, this is Pollywog. How's everybody doing? I'm just eating my oatmeal and my egg whites right now and foam rolling. A lot of people talk about egg whites. Um... Is it okay to drink them, or should I eat them, or is there a difference? And, um, I have a theory on this, so I feel like you should eat your egg whites if you're cutting, and drink your egg whites if you're bulking. The reason why I say that is, when I drink egg whites, I get hungrier a lot sooner. So therefore, if I'm trying to eat more food, um, eating the egg whites will fill me up longer, so drinking them... I'll be able to eat more in the day and stuff. So a little update on how things are going with prep. Everything's going good. I'm having like progress with my gains and everything. My legs. Oh my God. Life is like pretty hectic right now. <laughs> I have that feeling where like I feel like I'm always running like from one place to the next. I'm not like chilling from like the moment I get up to the moment I go to bed. I'm just like running around so my girl just found an opportunity to upgrade where we live so it was kind of a last minute thing where we just moved like you know over a weekend and uh it just happened to be the weekend of like the most snow ever so but the good news is uh, my work schedule is gonna be a lot more chill now so i finally get to dedicate myself a little more to just the whole process because it's so time consuming folks um getting all these meals in buying the food, cooking the food, it's just like part of it, you know. So I'm going to Chrome today and uh, going to do legs with Brooke, so I'm going to take you guys with me. It's a really painful workout for me, like, I don't know, a lot of it's mental though, like, just giving up is not something I want to do, but it happens sometimes, you just get all that lactic acid in your legs, I'm like, ah, I just got to stop. Oh yeah, extending my cup, finish him, finish him. <laughs> Just to work on that, that range motion. 
So, right now, do you feel like your butt's sitting down on that pad? Um. Like it's just the point, pointy part of your butt. <laughs> Push through your heel. Move your, maybe move your foot up a little tiny. Bit. I'm really enjoying um, learning the mind-muscle connection with my uh, glutes and um, my legs and stuff. It's right here. It's completely soft. Um, like you can't even stretch that part of the muscle because your back is restricting Basically, I just learned at Chrome, you know, recently. It's just the thing that I learned before, but I forgot was, um, you know, to to utilize your glutes, you want to like lift up your your toes and like kind of rest on your heels. You know, a lot of times when I do leg workouts, it just blasts my quads. My quads take all the heat. So I've been really working with Brooke to, you know, like she's helping me um, just engage hamstrings and butt, and um, it's awesome because. Afterwards, you know, the day later, I can totally feel soreness in those places, so it's pretty sweet. I'm pretty excited about that progress. Oh, as you can see, it wasn't a very intense workout simply because I'm not capable of it. Uh, my range of motion is very bad right now, so basically we're working on getting my flexibility so I can maybe do some weight someday. Oh boy, I'm super tight. Lower back is really tight. Hamstrings are really tight. Um, it's just a process, so. Dancing with Chewy. Instead of dancing with the stars, it's dancing with Chewy. Yeah, Chewy. Oh, my wonderful fucking Chewy. <laughs> oh, my wonderful Chewy.